Right about now, we're really starting to see more of the destruction caused by that tornado that moved here um, late Saturday evening. So right now I'm standing in front of what was the Shell gas and travel station here in Valley View. You can see just how that twister demolished this building, ripping out parts of it, gutting it. I mean, right here, this is a piece of that building wrapped around this pole, almost like it's tinfoil. But I want you to look over here. Um, this is where power company crews are, and what they're doing is they're replanting those power lines. They're hoping to restore power in this area um, for folks, and they're hoping to get that done by the end of the day. But the Cook County Sheriff told me this center was one of the only places in the area where people could take cover, and more than 100 people were inside when that tornado ripped through the building. Obviously, looking at the scene, there is still so much to do. So that's why uh, the Salvation Army is out here today and I spoke with the North Texas Area Commander Major Paul McFarland. Um, he says for the next few days they will have a mobile food unit set up here in Valley View, in the Morena, and also in Salina. I'm sure there's just tremendous uh, uh, you know stress upon them for uh, the experience. I mean even those that were here in the Shell Station and uh, what they went through uh, is life-changing and so our hearts go out to them and, and we want to be here and support them in these coming days. And McFarland says they are working alongside the EMS to determine what all folks need in this area, whether that is more food, clothing, or just plain out shelter. Um, but obviously you're still keeping your hearts and your prayers um, for folks up here in Valley View. For now in Valley View, I'm Richard Solomon. Back to you.